Jason Stamen, Max Hester Hazen here at the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. at the ACC Tournament. We just saw Virginia Tech fall to Miami 88-82 in the quarterfinals. Max, they've, they've had so much go right for them. Six-game winning streak just didn't happen tonight. They did fall a little bit short tonight. It wasn't because of their offense, though, which had been really a problem for them for most of the season. They shot just a hair under 50% for the game, a little over for the second half. It was their defense that cost them. I mean, they let Miami for a good eight-minute stretch in the second half shoot 83%. I have never seen a team shoot as well as they did. And some of those shots were contested. They weren't all open looks. There was one three-pointer by uh, Rodriguez that was. But aside from that, those were contested shots. Miami just, they couldn't miss. The one bright spot, if you want to call it that, Seth Allen has 31 points, but so many times they were just giving him the lane. And and there were there were so many opportunities where they didn't really need that easy basket. Miami was perfectly happy. They were content to give him the lane. 17 of 18, 18 free throws, 31 points. But it wasn't really what they needed, though, it didn't seem like. No. When you're down in any game and, you know, there are three, four minutes left, it's okay to go for those easy layups, get some points on the board, just get something. But when it gets down to that minute and a half, minute left, you can't take layups anymore. You have to try and force your way back into the game. And Virginia Tech did not do that tonight. They were content to go for the layup even with 15 seconds left. They needed to take some threes. Yeah, and, and you mentioned those threes. They only took two, or they, they, only, they only made two. They only took nine. That, that's such a big part of their game, and that was just non-existent tonight. You have, when you have Justin Bibbs on your team, he shoots 46% from beyond the arc. He needs to take more than one three-pointer. Yeah, he took one and made it. Only had five points. They needed more than five points out of Bibbs today. They could have survived five points from Bibbs had Lede played a little bit better. He had about 12 points, I believe. They just they needed one more person to show up tonight, and they would have survived the honestly poor defensive effort. They were close. They were close, and now we, we, we wait to see, are they close enough to get into the NIT? I talked to Whit, Whit Babcock just briefly in the hallway after the game. He seems to think they've gotten there because of that win uh, on Wednesday night over Florida State. I know they put in a bid to host an NIT game. It's a lot of waiting to see what you know how everything plays out in the next few days. Could they get bumped back down? But as it stands right now, do you think they're in? I think they are. When you have a six-game winning streak at the end of the season, that means you're playing your best basketball at the time that it matters. And Virginia Tech not only won six games, they won six ACC games, including a win over a top ten opponent. I think that's enough to put them in. I think so. As it stands right now, I don't know how high, but I think they're they're right about that maybe four or five line, uh, which would obviously if they get the four C would they would would let them host a game. So. Um, Kind of wait and see. Again, they're 19 and 14 right now. It sounds like it's about 99.9% .9 they're not going to play in any other tournament besides the NIT. So if they don't get in, that could be the end of their season. Uh, we've got tons of coverage here coming from ACC tournament, post game, locker room, uh, Buzz Williams press conference. We've got photos, all kinds of stuff. Max, for Max Esther Hazen, Jason Stam, check back here with HokieHaven.com.